Hey guys, it's July 4th and I'm making peach cobbler for the first time, so stay tuned and let's see how it goes. is you wash your hands. Make sure to always rinse your hands first before you put the soap on because it helps you actually create the suds for clean hands. Shout out to my brother behind the camera. Hey! We're gonna preheat our oven to 425. Let's see. And we'll get about eight of these. So our grandma's gonna be helping us peel today. So y'all say hey Grandma J. Hey. Okay, so we've cut up all of our peaches and now we're about to combine fourth cup sugar, fourth cup dark brown sugar, fourth teaspoon cinnamon, fourth teaspoon nutmeg, fourth teaspoon cornstarch, fourth teaspoon lemon juice. No! Yes. So now we mix everything in the bowl and we're gonna mix it together. And then we're gonna add it with our peaches. And while my beautiful grandmother's doing that, I wanted to pose to y'all the question, where do y'all think I should spend my birthday in November? Should I go to Disney World in Florida, or should I go on a cruise? Then we're gonna add this into here. Hmm. That just looks good. That does look good. Okay, so now we're gonna pop these in the oven for 10 minutes at 425. Okay, so while that's in the oven, we're gonna prepare our batter to go on top. I added one cup of flour, one fourth cup white sugar, those are already in the bowl, and now I'm gonna add one fourth cup brown sugar. We can kind of top this off a little bit. That's enough, right? A little too much, but that's okay. One teaspoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of salt. Okay guys, here comes the butter. I actually overlooked this in the recipe and I thought this was a slick vegan recipe. The only vegan butter I had was salted. This calls for six tablespoons of unsalted butter. Cut them up in small dices and then we're gonna add them to this mixture. After mixing that all together, as you can see in the bowl, you're gonna add a fourth cup of hot Boiling water, be careful. You're gonna mix it like a coconut and stir it all together, hey. Mix it like a coconut and stir it all together, hey. Or is that how that song went? Now I know this looks a little sketchy at first, but just stick with me, I promise the end turns out well. See, it's coming together, right? Is it just me or does my hand look like it's moving extra fast? Like this looks like a time lapse video. You see my grandma holding the ball. <laughs> For my grandma's recommendation, we're adding vanilla extract. <laughs> Once you finish mixing that yummy mixture all together, you're going to pour it on top of your already warmed up in the oven peaches. Make sure to get this real even, y'all. Take your time, be patient. I know this looks like, is this gonna be peach cobbler in the end, Kilo J? What's going on? But I promise you, this just took about like 30 minutes and it's gonna be amazing. And time on the clock for 30 minutes. Beast Burger. This is what it looks like on the grill. This was not that good. I was so looking forward to it. Don't we look alike? No, we're near. Oh, is that better? Her name. But. Since we had to use regular butter, I can't eat it like that. But I asked my friend Court. Okay, y'all, Courtney's trying the peach cobbler for the first time. All right, here we go. For real. Okay, look. This crust, sprinkle of sugar, the peaches are just right. Oh my god. It's not too sweet. It's so good, and the crust makes it. Yeah. Oh yes, y'all. Yay, a success. I cannot wait for y'all to try that at home. In the meantime though, I wanna give you a sneak peek of a video I'm launching tomorrow. Here goes, love ya. Dear Fifth Harmony. Yikes. I want to set a new standard on this
this video. That fifth harmony, I think you're better than these videos. I think you're better than showing your body. Dang, those girls, I love their music. But let's think about it. What is it actually saying?